Okay, so full power 357 Magnum, what we have to understand about it is the fact that uh, you have to have a strong grip and you have to have a strong index finger. And think of it like a gym where you have to work on the, on the muscle groups in your wrists. You have to have a very strong grip because this is going to recoil, which is going to affect your grip. And you have a heavy trigger pull, and that's going to affect your shots also. So you need to stay consistent either by strengthening your wrists three times a week or two times a week or whatever, or taking your snap caps and your revolver and just pulling the trigger. Because a lot of you, your first time on a heavy uh, trigger revolver, probably pulled it, you know, five or ten times or something like that. But then when you kept pulling it, you noticed that your finger was getting tired. Well, what that does is that causes a short stroke of the trigger eventually. You know, you might have pulled the trigger, say, 15, 20 times, and then all of a sudden you pull and you notice your finger comes back like that. Okay, you short stroke the trigger. Why? Because the index finger wasn't strong enough. So repetitions, okay? You have to have repetitions with this, both with grip, having a strong grip, and exercising that index finger. And this you can kind of cheat with because it'll strengthen your fingers so you don't have to necessarily have the revolver and dry fire it and stuff like that. But uh, if you can handle something like this, shooting 357 Magnum, having this 20 ounce buck you as far as your wrist and stuff and the harsh recoil uh, and the heavy trigger pull. If you can handle something like this, then other guns are much easier because you've started with something that was difficult to shoot and then everything else seems like it's easy. So that's the one thing I got to say about that. So think of it as, uh, you know, you're lifting weights in a gym and you're going to start off, you know, uh, lifting some heavy weights or doing some power lifting so that you can get really strong so that them other weights are nothing. They're a cinch. Why? Because you started off lifting heavy. So, so if you lift heavy and you shoot something that's difficult to shoot as far as the trigger, as far as the weight of the gun and the power of the cartridge bucking your hand around, if you get used to shooting something like this, then everything else is going to be so much easier. So if you train with something like this, plus P is going to be like a 22 to you eventually if you put in the time and stuff like that. Now, it, it is expensive shooting 38 Special and really expensive shooting full power 357 Magnum. And that's one of the reasons why guys can't train a whole lot is because of the price of the ammunition. So at least you could be at home and you can keep your wrist strong and you can dry fire that and get strong with that trigger finger, okay? So that, say, if you did find full power 357 Magnum on sale or something like that, and you had enough of it where you could do some drills with it, well, you've already been training that wrist. You've already been training that uh, index finger, you know, so that it's strong enough to pull that trigger you know, nice and strong. This one seems buttery smooth to me because of the fact that I, I train with this twice a week, dry fire or live fire. So I've gotten to a point now where even this trigger, heavy trigger pull, seems light to me. But it isn't light because everybody I give this to, they say, oh my gosh, uh, that's a horrendous, that's a terrible heavy trigger on that Taurus you got there. Well, I'm glad to hear that. You know why? Because if you can shoot something like this and get used to this, then everything else is going to be much easier. So that's one of the reasons why I tell everybody out there on YouTube land, get a revolver, a 357 Magnum Snubby, and let it punish you. I mean, seek punishment. Seek uh, to do something that's difficult so that you can be better at other things that are less difficult. So take on the beast, you know, take on something that you think you can't handle, get good at it, and then compare it to your semi-autos. It's like a walk in the park, you guys. Everything else is, is going to seem like it doesn't even recoil, even the 40 Smith & Wesson, you know what I mean? 
you know, people talking about how snappy it is. Yeah, well, try something like this, okay? <laughs> try full power 357 Magnum in there. Try some Underwood in that thing. Try some Buffalo Bore in this, okay? Now, I don't do it that often because I don't think that the pressures could hold up forever doing something like that. But I'm talking... When I'm talking full power 357 Magnum, I'm talking Buffalo Bore, Underwood, stuff like that. But I'm not saying that you have to use that. Shelf ammo alone, 158 grain in this or 125 grain in this alone is enough to buck your hand, is enough to give you that experience of shooting a gun that's uh, difficult to shoot because of the recoil and because of the heavy trigger pull. Now, if you get good at this, you're going to be good at other guns. So that's one of the benefits of trying stuff that's more difficult in your life so that everything else is easy. So I used to be in the Army and stuff, so I believe in tackling tough stuff so you can be so everything else is easy. But anyway, thanks for watching the video, you guys.